That's okay. I got it, and it was funny to me. This is a show where I talk about anything tech-related. Uh, CES is coming up, and I talked about some of the trends I think we're going to see in 2015. And one of the biggest ones is going to be probably on your wrist in the wearable department. So I want to give a bit more detail on what I think 2015 is going to hold for wearable department. I think it's going to be big. I think it's going to be bold. I think it's going to be colorful. I think it's going to measure your heart rate. This is right into riffs. Let's just let's start riffing like friends. All right, so 2014 was the year we're kind of introduced to mainstream wearables. 2015, I think, is the year that people actually start taking them very seriously for a few reasons. First, Android Wear is getting stupid good. Uh, when it first launched, it was the opposite of stupid good. I would probably say stupid bad. Uh, but Google has been working very diligently to improve that. Uh, almost every quarter, we are getting software updates that are offering new features. And one of the things that I like about uh, Android Wear is it's the same experience, uh, whatever manufacturer you want to get. Uh, so those new features are sort of permeating down uh, to every uh, Android Wear watch out there. So next generation of Android Wear, I think is going to be pretty top notch. I think we're going to start seeing those actually at CES. Processor is going to start getting better. Uh, we should see Snapdragon 400 or Muwar start to be standard. We already have those uh, in a few of the Android Wear watches. Processor doesn't really matter. The OS is not very processor intensive. We're going to start seeing high resolution screens, perhaps uh, OLED displays. You know, obviously they're going to have to be mostly square, but I think the resolution is going to get higher. It becomes more apparent even looking at a low res screen. Uh, and on that note, I think battery is going to start improving. Yay! Processors are going to get a little bit smaller, boards getting a little bit smaller, there's more room to cram a few extra milliamp hours in there. I think even if we start seeing things a millimeter or two thicker, I think consumers are going to be more understanding of that. Speaking of battery technology, let me just have a very candid word here with some of the manufacturers here. Charging your watch should not involve a little plastic accessory with a really crappy hinge that breaks. Make it easy to charge your watch. Look what Motorola did at the 360. It is Awesome, elegant, easy to use. It's Qi enabled. You can throw it on any Qi charger and charge. Make it wireless. It, it's on your wrist. You don't have to have a USB port on it. Make it wireless. Let me just reiterate that again. Please make it wireless or find another way to make charging easy. Don't make it a giant pain in the ass. Don't forget about bringing an adapter. Just make it easier to charge your watch. Do not drink and drive. That doesn't sound like something that you should even need to say. It should be just as innate in you, like breathing and going to the bathroom, because I know you do. But if you've had anything to drink, do not go in a car. And also, friends had something to drink, don't go in a car with him or her. It is not worth it. Call a cab, call an Uber, call a Lyft, call your parents, call your friends, call your grandma. Somebody will come pick you up that has not been drinking. Um, it is just a stupid thing to do. Uh, you see thousands and thousands of lives every year are just foolishly lost from that. Uh, especially again with New Year's coming up, just be safe. Uh, we're going to start seeing again new updates to Android Wear. I think you'll see a lot more in the health department integrates with Android Wear. Voice recognition is getting better. What you can do with Google Now is getting better. And it's going to continue uh, into 2015. Obviously, another company is getting into the wearable department. We saw the Apple Watch announced last year. We're actually going to get our hands on it um, sometime in the earlier part of the year. What that's going to do, not yet sure. Apple hasn't really announced all the new features. Right now, all you can see the Apple Watch being useful for uh, is Apple Pay and drawing pictures of inappropriate things to send to my friends uh, on the watch. Uh, we'll see once Apple starts announcing new features. It is very nice looking. It's got a very elegant design. You use the crown to navigate. Uh, but no one's had really hands-on time with it yet, so I don't know if it'll be good. Uh, it's certainly going to be expensive. Uh, it's got varying price points and various models. They're going to range from probably relatively affordable to why would you spend that amount of money on a watch you're going to want to upgrade in a year. So that's sort of the Apple gamut. Uh, Samsung also has got a few Tizen watches that uh, we should see updates to. And Samsung's done a really nice job with those. When the first gear launched, again, seems to be a trend, it was not good, it was clumsy, but it was a good first step for Samsung. Uh, we saw the next generation of gear watches in the middle part of uh, this year, 2014, if you're watching this in 2015. Uh, and they got much better design-wise, they thinned down, added more features, and Samsung controls Tizen, so they can sort of add more features that perhaps Android Wear can't do. I am hopeful that Samsung's gonna open that up, though, uh, to non-Samsung phones, because they're really getting good, starting to offer very new features. Uh, I think we're also gonna start to see curved displays. We sort of saw that with some of Samsung's, but uh, sort of curved to your wrist. I think they're gonna become more fashion-focused uh, as we move into 2015. I think the trend of maybe standalone watches with their own data plan is a novel idea, but I don't think it's is going to want to pay another data plan or want to you know, use something that's going to drain battery faster um, when you have a Bluetooth connection to the phone in your pocket anyway. Just my thoughts, my ramblings. Uh, I'm excited for what 2015 is going to bring for wearables. Uh, I'm still wearing a Pebble Steel. It's got the best battery life, easy notifications, and that's all I need right now. But this time next year, remind me that I said that because it might be all I need for my watch is to be able to buy things, send dirty pictures that I draw to my friends, send my heart rate, uh, and also be able to use Google Now. Who knows? What do you guys think? What do you want from 2015 in the wearable department? Do you even care? I'll hear your thoughts on it. Leave the comments down below. Until next time, I am John Render. See you guys in the next video.
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We love making tech videos here. If you like watching them as much as we love making them and just enjoy playing with the latest consumer electronics gear, check us out. Hit the big subscribe button. We got new videos coming out almost every single day. We also have a channel on Twitch where we play games, oh, sometimes not so well, at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo.